Welcome to the channel and thank you very much for clicking on this video. We have been approached by um, a company called Flextail. They are a well-known um, brand in the um, out outdoor accessories market and they asked us if we'd like to do a review and a setup and a first look on this R05 insulated sleeping pad. Of course we said yes because we know they have got a good reputation and uh, they sent us this for free. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it out of the bag, um, inflate it, go through all the specs and uh, do a little uh, a bit of a, a lay on it to see how comfortable it is. And then we're going to take it out on a wild camp overnight and do a proper test in uh, camping conditions. So stay with us and uh, we'll go through all the specs and go through it together. So we've got the size there which is 65 centimeters wide by 183 centimeters long. This is the regular size. They also do a mummy version and the mummy version is like tapers on the ends and a bit at the top as well on the corners. But I preferred the regular size because it's a bigger pad and I'm not keen on the uh, mummy size pads anyway. So. If you look at the side, you've got a dual layer valve, quick inflation and a deflation feature as well. You've got a seven layer thermal insulation on the inside of the pad, you can see it there. Um, it's made 100% polyester fibre, that's the end of material, 100% nylon on the outside. What I do like about it, it's got a 5.6 R value, so it should be good for winter camping. Um, what else is there? I'll show you, um, I'll show you the, the front. Show off the back, it looks good quality. Um, got a nice bag with a drawstring. I'll do a little bit of a size comparison with my normal sleeping pad I use. That's a uh, the Thermarest Neo Air X Firm, and if you look at the size of the two packs together, there's not much difference. That's a little bit bigger, and this feels a bit heavier than that. I'll go for the weights and stuff later, but looking at that, it's not too bad. Stand upright, that's the, the two together, and they're pretty much the same. That's a tiny bit bigger. So that's out of the bag, you get a puncture repair kit with patches. And on this sleeping pad, you get a velcro strap, a velcro strap to keep it all in tight together before it goes in the bag. So Yeah, so that's laid out. First impressions. Looks good quality. Good materials used by the look of it. So far, so good. There's a valve, so there's, there's a valve there. So I think you pull this off the top. And then put the pump straight to there. Right, let's inflate this, see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. So I've got my flex tail mini pump and let's go ahead and inflate this pad. So there it is all inflated. It looks nice and chunky. It says the um, the inflated thickness is about um, seven centimeters, which is about seventy millimeters. But the outside is a bit wider, a bit thicker than that. I put a tape measure on it, and it's almost or just around 90, 95 millimeters. Because the two outer edges 
are thicker than the centre, um, which should help if to stop you rolling off in the middle middle of the night, so it'll keep you in the centre of the of the mat. Um, so it says on, on the packaging, it's a seven. Um, what is it? A seven layer thermal insulation, but that's only from these standpipe baffles from there to there the outer edges uh, there's nothing in those so I know other youtubers have re re reviewed this product and I know at least one of them has said it could be an issue but without testing it I'm not gonna know so that's the uh, the aim of this video but if I put it up against the window or towards the window um, so that the light coming through the window you can see the edge or the both edges of the sleeping pad there's nothing in there and it's only in the centre right let's give it a bit of a a test line 5 I'm 5 8 5 9 and it's definitely long enough for me. Um, it's mostly chunky, I can't feel the floor coming through the mat. Nice and comfortable. I'm liking this. What do you think, George? Do you like it as well? Yeah, it's nice. It's, um, my firmer rest, the baffles go the other way. But this one, it goes from the bottom to the top or top to the bottom. I normally sleep on my I normally sleep on my front. I normally sleep on this. Yeah I'm liking it. It's really comfortable. I'd say it's on a par for comfort with my um firm rest new way. So that's a good start. And it feels really warm. It's weird. It feel it does feel warm. You feel the heat coming through the centre baffles. So far, so good. It's uh, it's ticking all the boxes so far. I know a lot of people sleep on their side. I can't see an issue with that. From my point of view, it's. Uh, very comfortable so the weight on this is uh, 690 grams it's not too bad it's not it's not much it's not much heavier than my Thermarest new way in all fairness um, like I said it's got a 5.6 R value because I got the older um, Thermarest new way and it's on a par, it's on the same sort of scale on the R value as this, so. So I pulled up the stopper. You can either roll it up to uh, deflate it, or you can use the pump and deflate it using, using this by taking the stopper right out and then <whistles> do it this way. That's the pad roll back up, put the velcro on, I think it goes that way. Yep. Roll me around, go that way. Chin up like that. Nice and compact now. Let's see if we go back in the bag. <clears throat> Let's 
somebody said before, these bags are too small. So it's gone in, so that's good. And that's it, back in. Sleeping pad is back in the bag. I did start off deflating the pad with my pump, but I found it easier just going on, going with the old fashioned method. And I was just rolling it, rolling it a couple of times and getting nice and tight with uh, the Velcro and then put it back in the bag. The bag is big enough as long as you roll it down enough. So no issues there. First impressions, I do like the look of the pad. It's nice and comfortable. It's nice and big, nice and thick, nice and chunky. So the next step we're going to do is uh, take it out on a wild camp and uh, like I said earlier we'll, we'll try it out overnight and uh, we'll give you uh, our verdict. So the next time we see this uh, pad will be inside my tent so let's go camping. So following on from the first half of the video I'm out camping and I brought out the Flextail R05 pad. I'm going to inflate it and set up my sleep system and I'm going to take another look at it. So there it is inflated. There's a valve at the back. That's why they're turning this around now. And this thing is absolutely huge. It fills up my tent almost. It's a lot bigger than my firmer rest. But this thing looks really good. It's um like I showed you earlier, it's nice and thick. Um it's big, like my firmer rest, when it's in this tent you've got a bit more room around the edges to put stuff on the floor and stuff. But this it just fills it up like you know, it's just big. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put any um, foil mat underneath the pad, it's going straight to the floor, so I'm giving it a proper test tonight. I'm not sure what the temperature is going to be tonight, probably not much above freezing I wouldn't have thought, because we could, well, it's forecast clear skies, and we had a bit of frost on the ground this morning, so... I think it's going to be a good test for this uh, this mat. Um, I'm looking forward to using this. So I'll get my sleeping bag, put down the top, and I'll give it a test out inside the tent. So I'm in my sleeping bag on top of this flex tail pad. As you can see, comfort, first impressions, really good. Um, some sleeping pads are quite noisy when you're moving around, but this is no different to any others, to be honest. They're, pretty, they're all pretty similar to me. I haven't got an issue with uh, that sort of thing anyway. Um, yeah, it's really good. I don't use a pillow while I'm camping, so as you can see, I head straight on, on, the, on the sleeping pad, which is really good so yeah um, I'm gonna test this open out tonight I'm hoping the outside temperature gets below freezing because because then we'll know how good it is and I can give you my verdict in the morning and um, just hope it stays up and the air don't leak out of it and uh, it'll be all good so we'll test it out tonight and uh, we'll let you know or I'll let you know my my findings in the morning and so uh, I'll get on with it. Good morning. So yesterday you saw um, I was product testing the um, Flextail mattress. Just a quick look at it. It's still as solid as when I um, inflated it yesterday. It stayed up all night and that's good. So no air leakage as yet. Um, really comfortable. To be, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm really surprised how, how comfortable it was, because um, I had a cracking night's sleep. Um, brilliant, honestly. Um, it's warm, it uh, feels really strong. 
Um, it ticks all the boxes so far. Um, obviously, I'm not sure about the long term longevity of this, of this product, but I um, uh, plan to use this um, a lot now um, instead of my Thermarest to give it a real good testing. Uh, hopefully, we can get some colder weather um, moving forward, future camps, and um, we can see how it, perform, how it performs. But the first, the first night's sleep, uh, it's, it's, it's been brilliant, like you know. Um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not just saying it because it's free, I'm just being, being honest and I can only tell you what I think of it with the experience I've had. So, so far, I, I, think, it's, I think it's really good. Well made. Um, I'm not sure the price of this, but they're not, I think, just around £120 mark. I'm not sure, but I'll check the Flextail website and put the current price on the screen. Um, if you type in peak 15 on the checkout um, you'll get a 15% discount and I'll put that on the screen now peak 15 so just to summarize it's a it's a, it's a good um, sleeping pad it's comfortable it's what you want it's, it don't weigh a hell of a lot it's not much like I said on the, on the first part of the video it's not much heavier than my um, my firmer rest it's, it's bigger than my firmer rest as well which is brilliant so I think, like, like I said, if you want a, a, um, a mid-range sleeping pad with a lot of comfort and a, a good hour value, I think you can't go wrong with this, to be honest with you. It's, you know, it's proper. I'm really surprised how good it is. So um, if you want to see how we get on in future videos, um, subscribe to the channel and you'll see me use this a, a lot more. So. Click on the link below in the comments, that'll give you the link to Flaxtail and the, the discount code and you can purchase it from there. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful and you like this pad, give it a try. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.